Today we are getting back to the van build and installing the most critical piece to this van and the reason why we sold the other one. We are finally gonna install this third seat that's been strapped down in here for I don't know how long, but I cannot wait to get it in and can't wait to drive a little wide around in the van. Now, I am no expert when it comes to installing seats, so please just use this video as entertainment purposes. This is not informational or instructional at all whatsoever. I have my father-in-law, Frank, coming over today to help me get this installed and make sure everything is nice and safe for Wyatt. How are you? Yeah. Mama Deeks? We're all right. My mom? Oh, oh. How's it look? Looks good. What do you call those pants? What do I call these? The hurdy gurdy? These are my <laughs> work everything hurdy gurdy pants. Patch job, duct tape. <laughs> Patch job, duct tape. <laughs> they were my hunting pants, but there's too much oil in them and the deer can smell oil, even though you can wash them a thousand times. Is that true? That's true, man. Deer wow. got. They got little noses, but they can sniff pretty good. Learn something every day. All right. Is the little man ready for a walk? Little man's finally sleeping. He just peed all over himself, so he has a new outfit. Nice. You know, classic. We got right to work this morning. The seat is from Wilderness Vans, based out of Canada, and it's a really nice bifold chair that folds down, and this is where Wyatt's gonna sleep as well. What we did was drill a pilot hole and punch through, try and see where we can put the bolts in for the seat base. Unfortunately, this seat does not come with any installation instructions whatsoever, so you're kind of on your own when it comes to installing it. Wilderness Vans recommends reaching out to professional upfitting companies, and I actually did that to see what they would charge to install, and to my surprise, no one really wanted to do it. I'm assuming it's because of liability reasons. I did actually find one van build company based out of the Philadelphia area, which I'll link in the description, who was willing to do it, but I figured if they could do it, so can I, so I gave it a shot myself. Anyway, after using the pilot hole as a guide to figure out where we could insert the bolts, it was time to drill through the van. Now, we had to be extremely precise to avoid the gas tank, the drive shaft, and other obstacles like the frame. How's it look? Looks good. Factoring in the floor's thickness and the undercarriage of the van, we needed bolts at least four inches long and we were off the tractor supply. We got grade eight bolts and nuts since All it's right. used for heavy machinery, motors, and even tanks. We also went with a steel bar to give it additional support and strength. So we took the seat off the seat base and we punched through the holes on the bottom to make a mark on the underneath of the base. And now, I'm drilling these holes through, so hopefully they will line up perfectly. We got this base from Wilderness Van. You could buy just a seat and then fabricate your own base or buy both, which is what we did. Make sure you don't forget to paint. You don't want rust in your van. Going. I think we have it officially mounted. I think my lower back might be shot. <laughs> How's hockey you sound tonight? You can't move it at all. I gotta scream really loud because Taylor's father, <laughs> my father-in-law, is a little hard of hearing. <laughs> it's really, it's, it's really tight. Wyatt and I came out to uh, see the progress of his seat slash bed, but he uh, is too tired or too milk drunk to really appreciate it right now. What do you think? It looks good. It's in there, man. Yeah. Man, I got a lump on my head. What happened? I hit the, I spun over around and I hit the, what do you call it? Step. Oh, the, the runner board? The running board right on my head. Man. Oh. Wow. You all right? Yeah. All right. It's done? It Same. is done. Whoa. Same. Wow. It's nice. Looks good. Does that feel strong? Yeah. Whoa. Look at this seat. Dang, this is nice. Bravo, boys. Bravo. All right. Big help to this guy. Thank you. It was easy. easy. Wasn't, 
it's time consuming, but it, it went right in. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm still so stoked on how we didn't mess up on any of the holes. It's <laughs> awesome. It looks so good. I said, he said, I can't believe we didn't mess up once. I said, well, what did you expect? <laughs> we took our time, figured right out what I have to do, boom, put it in. Yeah, it looks So that's why the lines are on the floor, because I had to do it my way. <laughs> I'm fussy. It worked, and that's all that counts. It looks great. Okay, so after doing some research, I finally found a resource that has information on mounting a seat bracket to sheet metal for this van. Well, not really for the vans. It's actually from a community, a racing community called 24 Hours of Lemon, which is basically like racing $500 lemon cars. You soup them up and then bring them onto the track. Their recommendation is to find grade eight washers that are at least two and a half inches wide. Now we don't have two and a half inches wide washers, but we did have a big thick steel plate that we put underneath the van. I took that a little bit further and got a massive steel plate that's four by 12 by quarter of an inch. This one is cut down a little bit since I had to put it in the mounting locations for the seat bracket, but it's way, way thicker than a washer and it's super strong. This is hard steel. And I just wanted to install this, even though it's probably overkill, just for peace of mind, knowing that why it is gonna be safe and sound when we're traveling on the road, and I could just sleep at night. So here's the final product, minus the headrests, because I left them at our Ventner house. But the reason why we went with the Wilderness Vans bifold seat is because this turns into a bed, and it has two seats, so if we need to, we can sit next to Wyatt, but it's really nice. This reclines all the way, and then this also moves as well. Now, you might be wondering how this turns into a bed, and I'm hoping I can do it with leaving the car seat on, and let me show you. So this slides forward and backwards, and to get it down into bed mode, you lift this up, and you basically go all the way 90 degrees. Now I'm gonna push this back so I can do this. goes 90 degrees like so and then this would fold down so it's not going to work because of the car seat and I really don't feel like taking the car seat off. We'll see. And then you can slide this back like so. Oh it's going to work. Perfect. And voila. There you go. This is down and then if I move the swivel seat, and we have about almost six feet of space. So well, the plan is to put Wyatt's bassinet right here, and then he'll sleep on here, and then when he gets older, you can put blankets over this, and this should be plenty comfortable for him when we're traveling on the road. I partially swiveled the seat for you so you can kind of see what it is, but the car seat base is in the way of completely swiveling it so we'll have to take the car seat off every time it would have been sweet if it fit and just fold it underneath that would have been awesome but yeah we're super stoked how this turned out this seat is absolutely critical to this van to the success of this van and we wouldn't be able to travel in our van without it so we're super stoked on how everything came out this is going to be our main living area where we're going to have a table we're going to be having two swivel seats in the front. This is where we're going to eat dinner. This is where we're going to hang out. Let me know what you think on this seat. I'm super stoked. I think it came out great. The leather is super high quality. It makes our front seats look bad because it's so nice. I wish I had the headrest for you guys to show it off to you. But uh, yeah, this is one of the biggest projects that we got completed. Super stoked. Right next to me is the frame for the shower. You can guess what's coming next.